icon. She is the icon. She is the moment. She's been here for a lot of years. Um, she's no stranger to Gadio. I know that much. Yeah. Uh, it's Giselle. Hi, Giselle. everybody. Hello. <laughs> How are you? You okay? I'm great. Yeah. Now, what I want to know is you've just done your first set. You know, you're feeling yep. energetic. Yep. How is it that you have been at Glitterbox for so long? Where have you come from and where have... How have hi, hi. It's a little plane hi, going welcome. over there. There we go. Very Ibiza vibes. Yeah. Planes going over. It's all good. We're going to start again. Tell us, where have you come from? How have you ended up here? And why are you still here? <laughs> so, who told you to be here? Um, so I originally started with Glitterbox in 2017 when I was doing a year abroad here. Um, I just decided one day to just up my life and like move away with a, a makeup company. And yeah. then I ended up finding my way into Glitterbox. Yeah. And I've never looked back. And how does it? How does Glitterbox make you feel when you're? Because you're a performer. Yeah. You know, you uh, you're a drag queen. Yeah. You do lots of different things. Like, what is it about Glitterbox that makes you want to keep coming back? It's the freedom of expression. It's the fact that you're celebrated for who you are. Like we've got LGBT performers, we've got every walk of life you could imagine. And that's the whole glitter box ethos. And yeah. I just love how everybody just fits together all in this fabulous melting pot. What I'm trying to get like the hold of is like, why has LGBT, why have LGBTQ people ended up gravitating towards it? Do you think it's the music? Do you think it's the vibe? Do you think it's the performers like you who are like visible mm. and you know, we want to gravitate towards that? Yeah. Is it the, just the, what is it? I think it's just like the fact that you're celebrated for who you are and it's a safe space and it yeah. doesn't matter where you come from, who you are, everybody's safe at a glitter box. Yeah. And like, I'm not sure if you're aware, but we have had people join the team recently who are really looking after the well-being of everybody yeah, who yeah. works for glitter box as well. So I feel like they really are pushing that ethos of be who you want to be and you celebrate for who you are and you're safe here. So welcome to the family. Yeah, it's it is one giant family. It's interesting you say that, that you that the Glitter Box and Defected family is trying to like make sure everybody's looked after. Do you feel like that that we need more of that in the music Absolutely. industry, the clubbing industry? In life, in life. I feel yeah. like LGBT people need to be celebrated more because we're everywhere. Yeah, we're yeah, creatives, yeah. we're like, we design everything, do you know what I mean? So I just feel like, <laughs> we're the best ravers. Yeah, we're hidden, we're hidden amongst you. Uh, but yeah, and I just feel that that's, um, that's what we are. We're here, we're queer. And we're fabulous. And, and we're going to be like in different nights like this. Like it's not an explicitly queer night, is it? But like people, we like seem to gravitate towards it. Not at all. I mean, if you're straight, you can come if you want. But I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, like we are. Like we we celebrate everybody. And we do love everybody. And tell me, so like I know that the, there's like heaps and heaps of. I mean, we've been hanging out in the dressing room tonight, and we it's have, like a little we bit. We have. Wild. It's just a little. A lot of big personalities yeah. in there. Tell yeah, us what's the cute. wildest moment that you've had from oh, being like, a glitter box. Now oh. I know. Look, I know. Every time I've asked this, everyone always goes, oh, "I don't want to get fired." Give me something. Oh no, they all know about it. Give me some tea. Seen it. Okay, so I, I just don't know if I want to tell it. So, um, it was 20, 19, 2018, right? And I'd only been with glitter box a year. Right. And I got booked for Croatia, and I thought, "Oh my god, that's amazing!" And then the other performer missed the flight. So I got there, I was on my own at this party, hundreds of people. I was like, can I swear? <laughs> yeah, crack on. I was like, um, what am I going to do? So I thought, I'm going to have a drink. Right. That's what you should do. Lo and behold, next thing I know, I'm waking up the next day, like can't find my passport, getting picked up to go back to England. Like I was a mess, still half in drag. <laughs> Literally it looked like something out the grudge. It was horrendous. And then the photos came out and I'm swinging from 10 foot rigging. <laughs> In the air, in dra hanging upside down at one point. How things didn't come out, I don't know. So, like, just, yeah. And then I just had these flashbacks of just getting guided home. Just absolutely told. And so, like... But was Simon, it? Simon, who, like, who was thrilled with the photo. I mean, yeah. it's a good photo, to be fair, though. Yeah. yeah. And does he think that's because, like, everybody keeps on saying that, like, this place, like, lets you let, let loose and be free. Do you yeah. think, like, that's what happened there yeah let loose but don't climb on like John Morales's decks and nearly pull safety them out, first you know what I mean like, safety first he literally remembered me he was like oh you're the drunk one and I was like no yeah so that hurt a bit yeah but, yeah I but mean, you've like been on such a journey like you know been at Glitterbox for a lot of years and I hope you don't mind me saying but like you have been on a journey and you've developed yeah. as a person do you want to share that with us yeah so like um I actually had my last drink at Glitterbox 2019 2020 New Year's Eve shot of tequila uh, at 10 p.m <laughs> I've just um, had two 
Yeah, woo, <laughs> ole. Um, and then I've been sober three and a half years. Congratulations, so, I'm so you. proud of you. Thank you very much. I needed to do it because I was in situations like Croatia where I would get nervous uh, and I would think, right, I need to have a drink because I need this confidence to come mm -hmm. from somewhere. And then once you become sober, you kind of learn to pull that confidence because it's in you anyway. Yeah. You don't need a drink to mm. get it. You just pull it out. You just so how it. do you feel now being at Glitterbox and being a performer, but doing it sober? What's the difference? You're more aware. Uh, you're more present, you're more in the moment, and you enjoy it more, I yeah. feel, because you're not just this drunken zombie running around, you're mm. actually able to take it in, and the amount of goosebump moments that I still have are like at least two or three a night. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Definitely, I just love it. What is your top glitter box song? What is your top one? Is it attached to a memory? Is it attached to a particular gig that you did? So it's Debbie Jacobs, Do You Want My Love? Is it Do You Want My Love? Don't you want yeah. my, my love? love. Don't you need, need me in my life? Oh yeah. Um, <laughs> so yeah, but it, what remix is it again? Um, I will tell you, it's, it's the full one. intention mix I think you're talking about. Yeah, that's the one. Full that's intention the one. mix. It's very good. It's so good when I first moved back to England from Ibiza, yeah. um, it was my first ever Ministry of Sound. And I remember it coming on and I just had this just wave of happiness and mm. I was like, this is where I'm meant to be. It's like, the strings, innit? It, it, it's, it's the strings. The, they get it's you the going damn every strings time, that every do it every time. flipping time. Um, but yeah, I just, and I was just in Ministry of Sound and I was just like, I'm surrounded by, it was just pure joy. That was in, and the song still brings me joy to this day. And you imagine that a lot of people who go to a glitter box will have a similar moment like that where oh, they yeah. know a song or a moment where they won't forget. And uh, I think that's why it's so special, isn't it? Ask any of the performers and we've all cried on each other. Oh. Like, you just have a moment. When was the last time you cried? Come on, tell me. Come on, cry now. <laughs> Not since the Botox. <laughs> um, no, I think Croatia. I cried in Croatia. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm, I'm quite good at controlling it now. But um, <laughs> yeah, but again, actually, 2019 before I stopped drinking, Croatia yeah. again. Um, I remember crying to uh, Sister Sledge. Which one was it? Um, thinking, thinking of you? No. That was what I'd cry to. Oh, what was it? Anyway, I cried at that, like bawling my eyes out. Yeah. Yeah. Great. And it was just like the moment, it's the like song, free everything together. It was just, it was raining and everybody, it was 6 a.m., sun was coming up, my beard was growing through, <laughs> everybody was just swinging their shirts, having a good time, like all the staff were all on the stage and I just remember crying my eyes out. I think just you've incredible. just summed it up perfectly there, crying your eyes out, swinging your shirts around at 6 a.m. when the sun's coming up. I mean, what, what more do you want? And you can do it sober as well. You can. There you go, yeah. there's something stopping you. Uh, Giselle, I am in awe of you. And can we just talk about the nails who match the promo? Go and check out the Thanks. promo at Glitterbox Ibiza. Um, wonderful stuff. Uh, you're an icon. Very proud of you. Very happy of you, uh, for you. you. Um, she looks beat. It's true. Um, anything else you'd like to say? Have you got a message for anybody who might doubt that they might be welcome or feel comfortable in a space like this? Tell them. Never doubt yourself. It doesn't matter who you are, where you come from, you're special in your own way and you need to take whatever makes you weird and celebrate it. And you need to just become the highest version of yourself that you possibly can. That's it. I have nothing to say. Wonderful. <laughs> Thank you very much.